Hi, welcome to this buddy tutorial number three, making the buddy fire room. Lead time 30 minutes, complexity medium, tools needed, glue. As usual, if you don't have your buddy DIY kit already, you can order it on www.buddy.space. So have a look at this, this is how it shall look like at the end of the tutorial. This is the fire room, which enables to push the shuttle between the wheels. So have a look at the picture, that's very important. You have one side which goes left and the other which goes right, with some important difference. So take time to make sure you got the right piece at the right side. So there are basically two methods for mounting the fire room. What you have to do is uh, check this one and check later on the second method and choose what is more convenient for you. So the tricky thing is that you need to align accurately those two parts so that you can insert the vertical part as shown in the video. So to help you enable this, you, before the glue effect comes in, you can just insert those parts, those vertical ones. Then you can wait until you got the sticking effect, which is uh, strong enough. So, remove the parts and glue that. So, you remember what I told you about which part goes left, which part goes right. So this one definitely goes left. And you can see this is slightly different from the other one. So the other vertical part will be glued in the same way. And you see it looks different from the left part with the two holes that you can see here. Here we go. Right, here's the tricky part. To take the long vertical part on which you attach a servo motor. So you see there is a rectangular hole and you shall glue that on the platform. And use a spacer you see the spacer here to maintain the accurate distance between the two parts. So once the stickiness is sufficient, you can put this on the table that way. Much more convenient for the next steps. In order to fix that, definitely you have to glue the spacers, as shown. And then glue everything. And here is uh, the second method which we propose you for uh, mounting the, the fire room. So this method is slightly different as we are going to assemble all the parts with each other and we are going to glue everything in the end. So um, assemble the parts as shown on video as you have previously seen for the first method. And you will see that with just one finger you can maintain the, all, all the parts with each other in the upright position and uh, with the other hand you can just uh, apply the glue and then wait until the glue takes uh, effect and you have um, all the parts sticking to each other with each other so as usual you have to, um, to, to take care that you are putting the right parts on the right and on the left uh, this is crucial, so please pay attention to this. Otherwise, you are going to be obliged to unmount everything. And uh, depending the glue you are using, um, and you can damage your part if you have to unmount everything. So really take care of this. And the reason why I like this method is uh, because you can check everything is in the right position before you glue anything. Uh, putting the neck 
in the right position as well is important since the neck that you touch with the, with the finger here um, is the part which retains all the shuttle in the feeder preventing all the shuttles to be um, to be shot in, in, in the same time so this is important so yeah you can see with just one finger I control everything and I can check everything is uh, in the right position before I glue everything so that's really nice method. Yes, as I previously mentioned, the neck is important. You have to uh, to put it in the right position. So it's made of two parts: one six millimeter and three millimeter width. And um, and you have to put it accurately and, and glue that, of course. That's a key part of the fire room. So once you have finished, you can glue everything and uh, finish with the spacers as shown in the first method. Right, you have two spacers at the rear of the, the fire room. Just put it in the right position and glue. And here comes the latest spacer at the front side. So it's fragile, please use with caution we have experienced some issues so um, we had to reinforce the design to make sure uh, it doesn't break easily make sure you have um, you use it with caution yeah especially when you insert the spacer make sure you don't break anything So now let's take care of the winglets. So it's pretty straightforward. You have dedicated holes on two different parts to attach the sticks on which the winglets are going to be uh, positioned. So left side and right side do have exactly the same the same design. So easy part so begin with the two sticks and then what is when it's ready you will be able to uh, put some glue on the winglets and insert it as shown and glue that of course Alright, this is where you are. Let's now take care of the servo motor upper mount. Very simple. You have two small parts that you will glue and insert in the dedicated holes. This shall be on the right side of the fire room. So you have two identical parts that you insert that way glue that to the structure and you'll see that the servo motor mount has the accurate holes to be uh, directly uh, fixed and glued to the structure as well alright there is the latest small part which is very important because it's stronger the link between the servo motor mount and structure enabling the servo motor to perform heavy duty without any concern right here's the very last little piece which is very important and it enables the retainer to work accurately so glue that as shown on video now here's the switch and retainer. Here's the switch. It's made of three parts. It's very easy, but you should really care about aligning the three parts with each other. So 
So very simple. Do that. So the two little parts shall be glued at each side of the central part, which is longer, on which it has a little holes to mount on a servo. So this is side number two of the switch. Here we go, take your time. It needs to be aligned accurately. Here we go, here you have a body switch. Okay, let's go to the retainer part. So a retainer is made of three parts, two arms and a retainer. So you can assemble it very easily because the two arms are different. So the left side and right side, so there's no way to, to make errors. Okay, you just need to glue Make sure when you assemble the different parts to uh, not damaging anything. Don't force, it shall go easily. So the two arms shall be parallel. Leave it on the table, once positioned correctly, and just let the glue effect work, and you're done. Let's work on body feet. So left, right and central foot. This is a central foot. Use a spacer plus a screw to make your job more easy. So take the bended spacer. They are different from the left and right feet. Glue that and insert it. Same thing with the other side. So job done for the central foot. Let's work on left and right feet. Use a screw, it will make your job more easy. Now the tricky part is you don't have any rounded spacer this time. So make sure it's parallel. So left and right feet are the same. So just repeat what you've done previously. And you're done. Congratulations! You shall have all those parts with you, next to tutorial, electronics and motors. As usual, if you haven't ordered yet your Bailey DIY kit, please visit us on www.bailey.space. See ya!